par three. Everything's looking pretty good so far. On this one, we're going to start with uh, getting into creating some effects and applying them to some images and good stuff. We're going to uh, basically be creating uh, a little fade, some iris, and um, some wiping. <laughs> All right. That way I can wipe my uh, product page or product images with uh, whatever. Anyway. Okay, so... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hop back into the main file here, and I'm just going to go ahead and scroll all the way down to our uh, Learn Effects section, all right? And of course, we're just going to go ahead and dump this label out of here, all right? And we're going to go ahead and say or start this off by putting this inside of a panel. Uh, the panels actually look really good for product displays for clients, etc. I haven't had uh, one complaint yet. So... Um, we're going to go ahead and set this up inside of a panel. All right, and of course we need to uh, put a title on this. We'll just put uh, learn effects section. All right, we're going to create a width of 800. We're going to kind of stick with the same thing we've got going. We're going to put the height here at 500. Horizontal align. Go ahead and put this center. And I'm going to go ahead and drop down to the next line and just kind of set this up so we can read it all and uh, what else do we need to put in here I guess we could go uh, horizontal center and drop this at uh, zero let's bring this down from the top a little bit 75 bring down the padding a little bit 20 all right and of course we can go ahead and not close it all the way off but just close it to bring down the tags all right. Now, of course, doing it how we're about to do it, we need to throw this in an H box. The uh, panel, the horizontally set up panel, will definitely uh, make it look a little bit better. We'll be able to put three product, or at least three product pages or product images inside of one, and then I can show you kind of how to uh, set up buttons, space the buttons out. All right, and then of course add some text to it. All right, and then of course um, once we you know add the images and buttons and stuff we'll go ahead and set it up and save the effects script for last all right so we're just going to go ahead and prep this section get it ready get it showing some images and then uh, we'll set up some check boxes that'll basically control you know the animation in animation out all right or animation out animation in okay so let's go ahead and set up an H box and let's go ahead and make this width at 100% horizontal align center all right go ahead and close it and what we're going to be referencing are of course these images in here all right so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and set this up as uh, image all right we need to get an ID we just call this uh, image underscore one okay and then of course we can set the source and what we can call here is uh, at embed opening parentheses, apostrophe, and we can say images forward slash image underscore one dot PNG. All right. Well, we can save the rest of this. Let's go ahead and make sure that our products are going to, or the images will actually show up and we've got that good. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this. All right. Paste it two more times. And of course, I'm just going to change this up to image two. Change this to image two, this to three this to three and uh, we can see how this is fitting inside of our panel okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and run this learn effects and it's not working wonder why that is why is that Interesting. Okay. Well, the uh, bright start that I'm getting here obviously uh, is showing through. Okay. So it's apostrophe, closing parentheses, and all these. All right. Just going to go ahead and uh, paste these in here. Obviously, I didn't close it. I'm sure you picked up on that. Okay. But all I need to do is just save it. Go ahead and refresh this. Head over here. 
All right, and we've got some products sitting in here that are kind of maybe a little too close. Uh, I'm trying to think what would be good to set in here. I don't know, we could put some spacing. We ultimately could put another image in here, but let's stick with three. Let's just space these out a little bit to make it look good. Uh, so right now we're probably looking at about 120 pixels for each of these. I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember the size, but it's going to be something close to that. So I think if we, uh, well, it's looking about 360, maybe just trying to do some math based on the uh, 800 width. Let's throw some spacers in here. All right, just going to come down here. Spacer width. Now we can start this off at uh, 50, probably a little too much, but it's all right. All right, I'm gonna copy that, come down to this next line. All right, copy that. You can go ahead and uh, refresh this, see how that looks. Maybe, could even go even more. Let's go a little bit more. I'm gonna actually punch these up to about 75. See what that does. I'm trying to figure this because we're going to be putting some buttons in here and I want to be able to line up the buttons properly. All right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's definitely going to separate them a little bit. We'll be able to put a button in here and here and out here. So uh, this should be good to go. So you know what? Instead of setting the button, well, yeah, we need to set that up. We kind of do a little process here. 